Well, every few years in Lincoln, art installations pop up across the city. In the past, the sculptures have depicted light bulbs, bikes, and hearts. This year's installation, Serving Hands, had sculptors make hand-shaped creations. But one of these designs has been stirring up a storm for organizers. Reporter Phil Bergman shows us the one in question to see what you think. He just yelled devil out there from the car <laughs> because of the controversy. That's pretty awesome. A quick drive across the capital city and you'll be sure to see the 6 by 6 hands on display. But of the 39 installed, the one on 27th and Capitol is spinning the biggest web. This is, in my opinion, very clearly a Spider-Man hands. You've got web shooting out of it. It's red and black. Um, and so it looks very much to me like Spider-Man. Unfortunately, that's not the way everybody saw it here in Lincoln for a while. On July 2nd, the mayor's office received this email complaining that one of the sculptures formed into the devil's horns, was anti-Christian and demonic, and was a hate crime against the church. It's clearly red and black, which some people have used for the devil. There is a, a hand signal like this that hard rockers have used for the devil's horns, but this is clearly the Spider-Man hands, or it's also I love you in sign language. I have never seen the devil in a superhero, much less this piece of art. With Spider-Man being so popular, organizers thought Spidey would be perfect in front of the children's zoo. After all, he is your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. One of the criteria for the artists is to create a piece of art that's rated G for community display. And the kicker is that the group organizing this, Youth for Christ, might be perhaps the least likely group possible to be promoting the devil. No, it's not. We're a, clearly a Christian organization. We would never have a, approved a project that was intended to celebrate the devil's work. Art is meant to be interpreted. But maybe next time, wait to press send before submitting that email. So that's kind of the, one of the fun things about art is that people can interpret things differently. And I just wish you would have taken another step or two to understand the project. Reporting in Lincoln, Phil Bergman, 3 News Now. The woman who originally filed the complaint now says she sees Spider-Man, or perhaps his nemesis, Venom. She told the art organizers she hopes the Spider-Man sculpture will now sell at a higher price when auctioned for charity this fall.